We've taken six of the world's top athletes to find out what it takes to make a true Olympian. That's it, come on. As we push their bodies to the max. Rowing is one of the most physically demanding sports on the Olympic program. It requires strength, it requires strength endurance, it requires power. Add on top of that, the aerobic capacity that is required within an elite rower is absolutely enormous. This really is the full package for an Olympic athlete. Damir Martin is a double Olympic silver medalist and missed out on Olympic gold in Rio by just five thousandths of a second in the closest finish in Olympic rowing history. It's a photo finish! Damir's Olympic successes and his title of European champion have made him Croatia's most popular sports star. He's taken a break from pre-season training to take on our most demanding set of tests yet. The typical body shape of a rower really is all about stroke rate times by stroke length. The taller the rower is, the longer the potential there is for that stroke, the faster they will go. What we're looking for is very tall, very muscular, very lean individuals to be elite rowers. Damir has come to the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance to see just what it is that makes him one of his sport's truly elite athletes. The stats show he's a physical force to be reckoned with, but what are the secrets that have made him one of rowing's standout performers? We're about to find out. It could sound funny. I don't like to row too much because it really hurts my back, probably 20K in a session. And then on a bike, I do 60 to 100 kilometers and then even do some weightlifting or some preventional training. Before we really set Damir to work, we need to see what makes up the body of a world-class rower and just how much has changed since the peak condition of games time in Rio. Compared to an Olympic-class swimmer with a body fat percentage of 12.4, Damir's preseason form of 18.4% may seem less impressive. But next to a similar-sized heavyweight weightlifter at 26.7, Damir clearly has the lean muscle to match the mass. During winter, there's a lot of endurance training, collecting mileage and collecting weights in the gym. So you have some storage of strength during the, the summer. The dynamometer test is regularly used for two reasons. One is performance and one is for injury surveillance and for rehabilitation. Damir is a linear endurance athlete. In other words, he repeats the same action over and over again. And the load that is placed on left and right side should be equal. So we're looking for high strength and we're looking for symmetry. In a typical rowing stroke, almost 50% of the power produced comes from the leg muscles. Our dyno will test the rotational force or torque Damir's legs can generate, and also the relative strength of his dominant and non-dominant legs in both hamstrings and quadriceps. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. Three, two, one, go. Push, push, push. push, push. Pull, pull, pull. Well done, Damir. Come on. Come pull on, let's go again. More, more, more. Push, 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 push. Last one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pull, 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 pull. I'm relaxed. A single skull rower needs to be able to generate massive amounts of torque through his legs in both the flexion and extension phases to power himself to victory. But this power delivery has to be balanced across both legs to ensure he propels his boat as efficiently as possible through the water. Two, one, go. Good, Good. yes, go great start. Well done, Max Amir. Effort. Max Amir. Run and push hard, go pull. Good. Go Brilliant. And relax there. <sighs> Excellent, Damir. So that's some of the highest peak talks that I've ever seen. So really well done. You feel OK? I pulled back. <laughs> Damir's results are truly astonishing. His peak torque on leg extension is in a class of its own, higher than even the best elite athlete scores from the NFL, NBA and football's Premier League. The critical value we looked at was that peak torque production, which was almost 400 newton meters, incredibly strong. Add on top of that the symmetry, so the torque produced from both left leg and right leg was almost the same. So he is beautifully symmetric and incredibly strong. I think my physical strengths are really my physical strengths, so uh, all the trainings in the gym, I think the most important thing are the square meters of your body, and if you are not tall, you have to be wide.
Training at altitude has been used by elite athletes for almost 50 years now as a way to force the body to perform at reduced oxygen levels. So when the athlete returns to sea level, they can deliver improved aerobic performance. As we go up in altitude, the availability of oxygen reduces. Essentially what that does is it makes rowing that much harder. Three, two, one, go. We put Damir in a cutting edge environmental chamber. Excellent, good change, well done. And dialed in the same conditions that exist at Belmakin, Bulgaria, where Croatia's top Olympic performers head for altitude training, 2,000 meters above sea level. Excellent, Damir, same again. Six, that's excellent. Like all Olympic rowing events, the single skulls is contested over 2,000 meters. Rowers pace themselves over 500 meter splits, with the first and the last being flat out sprints and the middle two at a constant race pace. Inside the chamber, Damir has to produce 90 seconds of steady state Damir, rowing. Connect and go, well done. Followed by 30 seconds of all out effort over eight intervals and with 22% less oxygen available than at sea level. Yeah, well ahead of pace, well done, well done. That's it, keep pushing Damir. Three, two, one. Yeah, fantastic. Excellent Damir, well done. Feeling okay? Yeah. Real good, Brilliant. well done. For Damir, what we see is that performing the same exercise at the same intensity, we get this progressively increasing heart rate across the test. In other words, it's getting harder and harder. As it gets harder, the adaptation to that gets greater and greater. So by training altitude, what we are seeing is an increasing training stimulus, which hopefully translates to an improved performance at sea level. It could sound funny who my inspiration was. It was Mahed Rezel and Olaf Tufte. I'm racing now against them. Tufte is now the oldest in the field. He's not happy with this title, but he's a great athlete and he has to show us younger guys how to row and how to exist that long in rowing. In this two weeks of Rio, it was really satisfying. And the last 300 meters, came and I said, that's the Olympic final. I have nothing to lose. I can just make my medal shinier. It's Dami Martin from Drysdale, but Drysdale has a finish. Oh! It was really perfect from the first to the last stroke. And I have nothing to be sorry or, yeah, maybe for this uh, less than a thousand of second, but it will come. The lung function test is really important because it's the first piece in the jigsaw of, of aerobic capacity. Now what we see in elite rowing is very big athletes, and big athletes have big lungs. So what we are expecting is Damir to demonstrate that in this test. The cardiorespiratory system of any athlete is vital in achieving peak performance. Rowers must shift between intense aerobic and anaerobic activity throughout a race, and efficient and powerful lungs are the foundation of everything they do. So can I get you to put your nose clip on there? And so I want you to put the tube in your mouth and have a good seal, if that's all right. Take a deep breath in, and you're ready. <sighs> keep on going, 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 keep on going. That's good. Well done, yeah. The effort that is required to drive a 14 kilo, eight meter long single skull through the water at race pace for two kilometers is huge. And there are few Olympic sports that can match the intensity of physical exertion that elite rowers experience. Fill your lungs up. And out. Keep them going, 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 keep them going. That's good, well done. So Demir, these results are phenomenal, even compared to some of the elite athletes that we look after. When we look at Damir's force vital capacity, or the amount of air he can exhale in one full breath, it's easy to see why rowers have the reputation for having the strongest lungs in sport. He has a huge lung volume, and that is critical to underpin this enormous aerobic capacity, which is required for elite rowing. The VO2 max, or the aerobic capacity, often what we call the endurance capacity, is absolutely crucial for rowing performance. So for Damir, we're expecting a very high VO2 max because it underpins everything that he does in the boat. 
As well as testing Damir's ability to deliver oxygen to his muscles during a maximal effort, we are also measuring when he hits his anaerobic threshold, the point at which his body can no longer remove the lactic acid, which causes the muscles to burn and exhaustion to set in. Rowers have produced some of the highest ever recorded VO2 max readings among elite athletes, and there's no single test that pushes the body to its physical limits more than this one. It demands nothing short of total, maximum effort. Two, one, off you go. Every minute the test goes on, Damir will have to up his power output. 350 watts, well done. As the stroke rate increases, his heart rate rises and the lactate levels in his muscles begin to build. Brilliant, Damir, brilliant. Rowing takes the body into areas of physical exhaustion that few other sports can match, demanding supreme endurance and strength in equal measure. Nice and controlled, but push. Dig deep. Good that's job. It, that's Good it. job. Come on. As the lactate threshold is reached and Damir's muscles begin to burn with the effort, he must push through the pain if he's to achieve the VO2 max he is truly capable of. Yes, here that's we it. go. Come on. Push that's it. it. Yes, Damir. That's it. Come on. Big push walks. it. Well done. Well done. Come on. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't fail. Don't fail. Come on. Push it. 30 push, seconds. Push, push, 30 push. seconds. We're done. 30 Let's seconds. go. Come on. 30 seconds. That's it. Excellent. Well done. Fantastic work. Absolutely fantastic. Damir's maximal VO2 score is literally breathtaking, higher than the world's best marathon runners and greater than most of the elite rowers he competes against. He consumes 6.25 litres of oxygen every minute. It's absolutely massive. Lactate threshold. Damir can sustain 1 minute 40 seconds for every 500 metres. That is absolutely incredible. The race is 7 minutes. There's a lot of fighting in your head. When the pain hits you, you can always stop, and then it's easier. But then you are not in front, so you have to bite through it and go till the end. Even in a sport renowned for producing some of the most impressive physical specimens on the planet, Damir is truly a force of nature. That's it, keep it going, keep it going, don't fail! Stamina, strength, and a mental conditioning that enable him to push his body beyond the limits of even the most elite of his fellow athletes. He is an imposing figure when he comes into the lab. He is incredibly strong. His lung size, absolutely astronomical. All of these facets of performance demonstrate why Damir is a double Olympic silver medalist and one of the best rowers in the world. I thought that maybe this is for a reason that I didn't want the gold medal in Rio because I think great things are coming. So I'm looking forward for Tokyo and maybe even for a 